Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Pedonology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a stock that is ready to take off today and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions. For those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of yesterday's pre-market analysis video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, right off the bat, um, the market right now, again, for y'all, for those of y'all who watched that video yesterday, I gave y'all a warning, a very, very specific warning about this key level right here that happened after that um, head and shoulders, which happened when everybody was sleeping, right? Nobody could see this. Y'all were sleeping, y'all were snoozing. And you wake up and all of those hands disappeared, all right? And then later on that day, as soon as this thing broke, we went all the way down. I told y'all to brace yourselves if this thing was to crumble down like that. Especially if you're holding large cap stocks, like blue chip stocks, for example. And as of right now, we're not we're not in a very good spot. Again, um, day trading opportunities um, still matters. Again, this is the reason why I say day trading. There are some opportunities here for day traders. And also, the shorting opportunities here for day traders, right? And swing trading is just a bit, it's just a bit not a... It's, it's just a bit too risky right now during times of uncertainty. That's why I say that whenever I say switch the mindset to day trading instead of swing trading. Um, but as of right now, where could this thing go? I'm not going to guess. I'm just going to tell you all to, again, proceed with the day trading. Swing trading, mm, a little risky. But that's my thoughts on the overall market. Now, the stock that is about to take off that I want you all to keep on your watch list for today, that stock is SOS. All right. And the reason why I want to share SOS with all of you, right, is um, not 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 just because of what happened yesterday. It had some good opportunities for both the long side and the short side. Again, day trading. Right. So if you look at it on the um, the four hour, the pattern that I see here, which could present an opportunity for day trading, maybe swing trading if it holds is that bullish pennant right over here. All right. The pennant is clean, all right? It's trying to break out today. I think it will break out today. If the market stops playing games, it definitely gonna break out today. If the market doesn't drag this thing downwards, it's definitely going to break out today. So keep this one on your watch list for a potential move to the upside. Where could it go? Again, if the market stops playing games, <laughs> It can go all the way up to like um, 10 or 11 bucks very, very soon. I'm not bearish on this one. Short sellers are looking at this and they are kind of petrified. Um, if it makes a move, a lot of them will start taking their money off the table. Just just something that y'all should consider. This, the play is looking very clean. So this is the play for today's video, all right? Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. We're going to talk about we're gonna talk about what happened yesterday with VIAC because that that kind of made me mad it really made me mad um the whole market tanks and this one was the one that i wanted it to drop the most out of all the stocks out of all out of everything i wanted this thing to drop the most but unfortunately it didn't do that um it, it dropped just a little bit pre-market and then when when it fell to tank over here this right here is the first one for short sellers. Y'all know how I say consolidation is a short seller's worst nightmare. It literally consolidated here, fell to, fell to crash, and then it consolidated over here. And this literally was the last line of like of, of defense of hope for short sellers. And then this right here was the beginning of the end. This is where all of these short sellers got squeezed, unfortunately. So um, in regards to today, in regards to today, where could this thing go? I think I think that given the circumstances right now, given the fact that this thing is not even gapping down, not even showing a little bit of weakness, I think short sellers are going to be taken for a ride. Unfortunately, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you want to play this. Again, if you want to play this intraday, then there could be an opportunity for longs for this thing to continue squeezing short sellers, unfortunately, um, to 105. And then it may even run until the next week. Daily looks very, very bullish. 
the daily is not something I would short. Um, definitely not something. And this is also something that uh, short sellers would be wary of. All right. So just just apply caution with this stock. It wants to squeeze short sellers, especially with the way it's setting up right now. All right. And the same thing applies for um, Disca. Yeah, this Disca definitely wants to squeeze short sellers. It it does it does. We might see eighty dollars after all. I mentioned I wanted to see eighty dollars like I think um earlier this week, like on Monday or Tuesday, and then just could not get there. But hey, we might get there today. So yeah, that 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 is the unfortunate part about um about short selling. And I know some of y'all are beginners and are trying to like read the charts, but um eventually eventually you'll be able to like catch these these change in momentum again keep in mind short um consolidation is a short seller's worst nightmare and when it does happen um the squeeze usually follows right afterwards and it's unfortunate but again adapt to the market um the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video we're gonna discuss mmm for those of you who have been holding mmm with me for a while um mmm i took some money off by the way i took i took some money off right over here when it got to above 190 i was like okay this this is a good spot to take some money off and to pay myself like right over here it went up a little bit and then it came right back down um is it gonna crash today i honestly don't think so i think that if it keeps holding like it let's say it stays in this zone it might just squeeze on Monday. If it stays in the zone and goes nowhere, um, it might it might just squeeze on Monday. So just keep that in mind. This stock is on steroid. It did not tank when the whole market tanked again. This is why I shared this one with y'all, along with um, with WM WM. A lot of people made some lost some money on here, and then it went right back up. Again, the stock's strong. The stock is strong. Like I said, could this thing? go back up and retest the previous highs yes i thought it would be a lot slower like i thought it would be really slow like this and then eventually go up but the fact that i just went right back up the next day is actually a good thing so um keep this one on your watches for sure it might not be as slow as most people as i think honestly it might not be as slow to break that previous high so this is also something that you should be keeping on your watch list um, I would like to see some consolidation first before we before we run. I want to see consolidation on this stock. Um, that is my very honest opinion on that one. The next stock that we're going to be discussing today, that stock is Tesla. What happened to Tesla yesterday? In Tesla yesterday, um, I gave y'all a warning. I gave y'all a warning again. For those of you who watched the pre-market analysis video, I addressed this one in the pre-market analysis video, especially after the gap down and that it didn't open up above 712 um i gave you all a one that is if if this level doesn't hold then we can go back to test that the floor of that flag which we did right we're right back down here is this thing good for a buy i think again i wanted to i really want to see this flag play out i really really do but at the same time um day trading is better in these conditions than swing trading I would love to see Tesla actually go a little lower towards 630, maybe 615. That is where I wouldn't hesitate to actually dip by that thing. But if it doesn't, then it is what it is. But um, be very, very patient with Tesla. Um, the, the, the play still looks good. It still looks good. If it drops to 630 or 620, I will be buying that dip for sure. All right. And that's my very honest opinion of it in anticipation of a rebound. All right, so just just keep that in mind for for Tesla. The next one that we're going to address in today's video, that stock is let's talk about Starbucks real quick. Let's see what's going on with Starbucks. And Starbucks right now is trying to recover. All right, it broke out earlier and then it immediately faded right back to a level of support. And I think and I think right now it's setting up to uh, it's setting up for a bounce all the way back up to, to 112 again. So keep this one on your watch list for today, right? 
Again, we've done, we've seen scenarios like these where it breaks out and then it immediately rolls over. If y'all remember, like what two weeks ago, and it goes all the way down to like 104, which is very aggravating. All right, but just keep it on your watch list. If it does go to 104, I will be buying that dip, um, or I will be just looking for intraday plays as of like in today or in the following week. But I just want to put this one in your radar as an extra opportunity to be watchful of for today. And that is the end of the video. Again, not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, you have to channel grow a lot. It also allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these pre-market analysis videos which are released from Monday through Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. Any post-market analysis videos which are supposed to be released every single day in the afternoon. I didn't release one yesterday. I was getting the haircut and it just took like way, way too long until like 9 o'clock and 9.15 and I was like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to make a video that late. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. But yeah. So these are, that's the times for the post-market analysis videos. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Pedanology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks after setting up with Webull using my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, all right? Be very, very cautious today. Don't be too greedy and look for intraday plays, all right? Enjoy the outro.